Hey guys, I wanted to show you a project that I worked on this weekend involving my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I had a long weekend, so I had a little extra time. And uh, so I installed Debian Linux and uh, Python and a couple apps and Node.js for a couple web apps. And what I did was I connected it to a cheap $15 USB scanner. See that there? And uh, I created a Python app that connects to a database. Uh, when something is scanned, and then records what it finds uh, actually to a Trello card. Uh, I've got my iPad here, and you can see it's called Groceries. Uh, sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, so the idea was that uh, the scanner is set up next to my garbage can, and uh, eventually I want to actually mount it in this cabinet, but it's just kind of all hanging out with the bits and pieces here right now. Uh, but I can take an item, such as a empty bottle of coke and uh, scan it in there and then hopefully what happens is yeah the item gets added uh, as cherry coke zero to my shopping list uh, so this means as I'm taking items such as eggs uh, before I throw it away I can just scan it here hopefully and toss it in the garbage and then it will automatically, hopefully, appear on the list. Yep, there it is, eggs. So that's all done uh, via a Python app and a Node.js web app. And then the other thing I wanted to do is to help with my streaming. So uh, I set it up with a dedicated IP on the home network here and uh, have the, well, I'll see if I can focus here, there we go. Have the uh, Apple TV is just here for demo purposes uh, it's normally in the bedroom but have it running through the same Raspberry Pi and the reason I do that is because Raspberry Pi is running a special app uh, you can see that hijacks the trailer app and allows it to connect to popcorn time so if I click on trailers uh, if you've never used popcorn time it's a great app but you can see this isn't the default trailer app this is now uh, popcorn time which I can use to find new movies that are super awesome and uh, begin streaming them, watching them for free. Uh, the only problem is that right now, um, the way JPEGs are rendered, the library that actually does that, uh, the installer or compiler needs PHP 2.6 and the other apps that I'm running need, or I'm sorry, Python 2.6, and uh, the other apps that I'm running need Python 2.7. Uh, so I haven't actually figured out how to uh, get the JPEG library working, and because of that, uh, I can't actually watch any of these awesome films just yet. Uh, but I was successfully able to get both of those apps, uh, the Popcorn Time and uh, Shopping Cart or Shopping List app uh, created over the weekend. Pretty cool. Just wanted to share with you guys. Thanks.